This is a 30-year-old individual with Marfan's syndrome. He had a spontaneous type A aortic dissection, and he had replacement done with an aortic conduit and an aortic valve. You can see the collar around the aortic conduit of the area of prior thrombus formation. Coronary buttons were actually replaced within the conduit. You can see uh, just previously the uh, one going to the left main, and this one showed the right coronary artery. This is a cross-sectional view through uh, the bileaflet aortic valve mechanical prosthesis. We'll make this a bit thinner here. You can see the leaflets very nicely. I'm going to adjust the uh, window and level just a little bit here to try to make things look a little bit uh, more realistic. You can see here in the cine motion that you can appreciate the motion of the valves as they go. Uh, we can also do an orthogonal view through this area at the same time. Uh, this is done here by taking an additional cross section. So this allows us to look at orthogonal views very, uh, very commonly uh, simultaneously. If I rotate this around just a little bit, we can start seeing uh, the valve on plane, but you'll notice if I rotate around a bit more anteriorly, you'll start seeing that we can actually see the valves in cross-section opening and closing during uh, systole. One can continue around then to look at other aspects of the valves. Another important aspect is looking at the uh, heart size and cardiac function. This is presenting the images in the standard three orthogonal views, the short axis, horizontal, long axis, and vertical, long axis. You can see the motion uh, of all of the walls and it allows you to get a good idea of whether or not there are any regional wall motion abnormalities. You can also determine directly uh, using uh, automated interpolation methods to look at ejection fraction and volumes. One can also look at the size of the left ventricle in end diastole. It's about 52 millimeters in one cross section and somewhere in the order of about uh, 55 millimeters in the other cross section. Uh, so this is a mildly dilated left ventricle. Uh, we can also look at changes of time and volume. This is the LV time volume curve, reminiscent of what we used to get in the cath labs. And you can see good systolic function, most importantly, good diastolic function. 